What's going on, guys? Happy holidays. So, obviously, I took a little bit of a break. That was kind of my Christmas present to myself. Um, after this video, tomorrow, we'll start with the two videos a day again. But today, I kind of want to cover one of the new event vehicles. Gaijin reached out and gave us content partners uh, a brief look at the new vehicles for the event, at least the lower tier ones. And then later on in the month, right before everybody can get the Merkava and stuff, um, we'll have access to that. So I'm definitely going to cover the Merkava in a video. Kind of curious about it. I think it's a higher tier one and it might have some unique features to that uh, compared to the other Merkava we have in game now. But this video solely is going to cover the Tizma because the OF British Ram uh, that they added, in my opinion, it's at 5.0. It's kind of poop. It has like the same parallax that the VFW has, but with a lot more drawbacks. It has only solid shot, has a slower fire rate, and obviously can be killed pretty easily with 50 cals. Whereas the VFW is invincible, uh, has a very fast firing 88 with APHE shells. Uh, so yeah, there's a big difference. I think the Ram is kind of not worth it, but the Merkava might be worth it. So you're going to end up getting the Ram anyway. But this Tizma, I don't know if I'm saying that right, but I'm going to call it the Tizma. This new Russian attacker is actually really, really good. Now you get two options of guns on this thing. It always has 220 mils in the nose, but the wing root cannons could either be 45 millimeter cannons or 37. Now the 37s have AP shells that are really good for attacking tanks, especially at 37. And the 45s only get HE shells, which are really good for blowing up bombers. And considering that this thing is decently fast and pretty maneuverable, um, I don't think that people will have a problem actually playing this thing. I think people will get used to uh, playing it and it'll be like business as usual. So yeah, the this thing is really good. <laughs> it's a really, really good attacker to use at this tier in ground forces, and it's definitely pretty good in air RB. So I don't see why you would skip this. Uh, it, let's just say if you didn't want to do the entire task, you don't care about the top tier stuff, this is definitely worth it. Now on top of all that, for you sim pilots, the cockpit is really nice. It feels like a post-war cockpit. It's clean. It has no small things in the way of your aiming, and it has a little bit extra cut down low so you can kind of see bottom right, bottom left out of the cockpit, which is nice. It's a nice bubble cockpit. You can even see kind of behind you. But as you can see, the these 37s, which I'm using for casts, are deadly. <laughs> They're deadly. This thing reminds me of the BF-110 we got in the last event where we could get uh, the BF-110, I think it's the C3, I'm not too sure, where it has a 37 mil. It might not be a 37 mil, but regardless, really, really good cannons on this thing. You can track, you can maim from above. It's pretty fast. It has a decent armament. It's got a 12.7 in the back, so you can shoot out of the back. And on top of that, it can carry ordnance. It can carry bombs and rockets. Uh, my favorite are the RBSs. You can carry eight RBSs, so four in, you know, well, four pairing of shots that you can do and uh, head-ons i mean planes don't want to go head-on with you especially if you have ap just rip them to shreds you rip everything to shreds at this tier i can't imagine a team of these like if you have a four man who all grinded and got this at three seven rush is already strong so on top of being a strong uh, nation at this tier you can use this plane to absolutely rain hell on people i mean it's just so good it, it really is super good for raining hell on people you can see i just killed that guy uh, obviously there's an lvt but you can see the damage that i'm outputting and i only played a couple games in it because three i'm gonna be honest with you guys three seven is not my favorite tiering but i can appreciate what this plane brings to the table i think it definitely brings something pretty spicy spicy now before we talk about the anti-air capabilities when we're playing an arab match uh, in the background, you'll see me go through some of the ordnance that this thing has. As you can see, you can swap out the cannons. But I do kind of want to talk about the last video I uploaded. It was a sponsored video by World of Warships. I'd appreciate it if you guys go check that out if you haven't. Even if you didn't like World of Warships in the beginning, or you don't like it now, I genuinely had fun. I'm not just saying that because they paid me uh, to make a video. That's why I'm saying it in this video. I had a lot of fun playing that game, and I think a lot of people who like War Thunder uh, feel like they can't look at any other games or <laughs> anything like that and that's just not the case uh, video games are meant to be played and 
regardless of if you liked it in the past or don't like it. Doesn't mean one's better than the other, and I think you guys should check that out. I had a ton of fun making the video and whatnot, and it's it's uh, kind of sad that you know the War Thunder guys don't want to don't want to see anything that's not War Thunder. It's like, come on, guys, there's there's other games out there. Uh, but on top of that, if you see in the bottom, because this is a stream clip where this video is from my stream, um, the money. Go, uh, donation goal on the bottom. I am moving back to Florida. It's already set in stone. That wasn't a goal that I needed to hit. It was just something that would help me out. Uh, so that's why that's there. I'm going to be going back to where the powerhouse was. If you guys remember those days back in St. Petersburg. And I'm very, very excited. I'm going to be moving at the end of January. So right now I'm still in New York. I have that nice 20 hour drive again, but hopefully that'll be the last time forever. Uh, unfortunately, Duke will not be coming with me this time. As you know, he hasn't been a part of this channel in a while. And the reason for that is he lives at my mom's house, and they've kind of grown accustomed to him. He's he's gotten pretty old. Duke's 11 now. And when I adopted him, he was seven, maybe eight. Um, so yeah, he's almost 11, and I just kind of feel bad if I move him again, considering he has such a good life now. And my brothers love him. My stepfather loves them. My mom does. So that's where Duke's going to be. Now, let's talk about this Tizma. It sounds like a rapper. Like Young M.A. <laughs> we got Tizma. Um, so this thing is pretty good at bomber interception. It's actually decently fast in a climb rate, considering it's a 3.7. I mean, what else is 3.7 that could compete with this? The 110. Uh, I do think I actually died to a 110 in this video, but... This thing is it's pretty good. I, I could see it being a fun plane to bring four of, like if you have four or three friends that have it, um, if you guys go decide, hey, we're gonna go destroy bombers. <laughs> I think it would be really good at doing that. Um, these 45 mil cannons are very reminiscent to the one that is on the Yak-9K, which is also a good cannon for just shooting <laughs> large rounds at planes. And, Something that I didn't notice with this plane is hitting something and then not dying. I, if I hit a plane with this, these cannons, uh, the plane generally blows up. There's no ifs, ands, or buts. That's kind of sad because the next video I want to do for tomorrow is I want to talk a little bit about that MiG-21, the new one. I've been playing a lot of MF, and I think that plane is super, super good. Uh, that'll be a live commentary, so it's okay if I talk about it now. That plane's really good, and it's a really fun plane for people who like a challenging plane to play. Now, I'm sure there are gonna be, there's gonna be comments like, the R60s are not challenging to use. Listen, man, they're not. <laughs> but at the same time, the plane itself is not the best plane in the game. It has insane thrust to weight ratio, but you can put yourself in a bind real quick if you start making maneuvers that you don't know what you're doing with. Uh, if you pull too hard, you turn too hard. It dumps speed crazy because of the, of the small wings, those little delta wings. They don't, they do good for if the plane's going fast straight, but they don't do good when the plane is, starts to maneuver and turn and you got to pull off throttle, you start to air brake or anything like that. Uh, but my biggest gripe with that plane is not all, the gun. <laughs> so it's not the gun itself. It's annoying to shoot because it's underneath the midsection of the plane. It has a fast fire rate though and it's pretty accurate once you're spaded. The thing is, I've noticed that gun does not kill planes. It really doesn't. I've had so many close encounters where, you know, I'll get a plane to fly right in front of me finally after a nice dogfight, nice rolling scissors or something, and I get a, a hit or a crit. And the crit doesn't seem to do anything. I've tried every single belt for that jet and I can't find. I can't find anything that works. I, I feel like it is just weak overall and I don't understand it. So if you guys are experiencing that and you think that is something I should make a video on, I think I'm going to do it anyway because the skin game for that MF is crazy on the live dial right now. I have to showcase some of those skins. They're awesome. <laughs> I've been using this uh, Hungarian Hussar skin, which is like, it looks like a Dorito. It's all, all cheese colored, but it's got like a mouth up front and some gills on the side. It looks great. And there's some, some Ace Combat skins and stuff. And I can only imagine people are really loving that German make. Which is good. And I'm glad people are liking it. But I've noticed that just those guns just don't seem to kill. They really don't seem to kill. And it's kind of upsetting that they don't seem to kill. So regardless, it's been your boy Slick. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. 
I'll be live tomorrow. Uh, might be live after this video with a little bit of talk about. They just released the patch, but it won't be a long stream. I'm going to see Uncut Gems tonight. I'm going up to Albany to see some of my friends before everybody's gone uh, off holiday break. And that'll be about it. We're going to be back on the grind this week, back on the normal-ish, and we'll be streaming some more Thunder and whatnot, playing some of these new vehicles, and really getting down to the brass tacks of things. Also, I wanted to cover that new Japanese thing, even though it's just a copy. We'll talk about it. That's it. So uh, let me know what you want to see in the comments down below. I hope you guys all had a great holiday. Happy New Year. See you guys in the next one. Peace. <laughs>